Hey guys, Night Corley here. Um, I'm gonna do a look with some rum, um, haha, <laughs> liquid latex. Um, I've never used liquid latex before, but I watched a bunch of videos, and hopefully I do it right. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the sidebar. Where is the sidebar? I never know where the sidebar is. Um, I'm gonna put a link in the sidebar to where, to where I got this inspiration from. It's a picture. Um, in a slideshow. So yeah, um, if you want to see what I do, please keep watching. Wish me luck. Stinky. Stinky. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put a couple of layers of this on him. So I'm going to draw, let this dry, and then I'm going to do it probably another um, two or three more times. I'm not going to film that because that's going to be a waste of time. So that's what we're going to be doing for the next half hour. Okay, so now I'm going to take my, um, kind of white from Mayron, and I'm going to put that all over the face. Okay, and then I'm just setting that with some, some white powder from Mayron. Okay, so now I'm taking, um, this blush from, con from Concubine, from Zetivore, it's called Concubine. It's a grayish purpley brush blush. Okay, I'm using the brownish colors in this blush palette that I have from Okay, so I got a decently gray color, but I'm not really worried about his face right now. I'm worried more about his mouth. So I'm gonna attempt to take it away at this. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> So what we have now is this pocket of flesh. And I think I might trim it a little. Just cut hang. So I don't really want so much hanging here. So they're not working. Okay, so now I'm just messing with it so it looks like a little yucky, torn up flesh. So now I'm taking this disgusting stuff called creepy skin. And Living Dead Girl was right. This stuff is nasty. Look up. Look at it. It looks like... No. <laughs> nasty crimp creepy skin in place. So now I'm going to try and put a good latex on top of it. Okay, now as it dries, I'm going to take a sponge that I ripped in half to give it texture. And then just go to like this. Okay, now I'm taking Bloody Mary. This red Bloody Mary. And put it all in here. Hmm. I can edit it. Hmm. Gulp, 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 gulp. Okay, I'm taking this blush palette again, and there's this <coughs> like purpley color. Put that around. Stipple it. Okay, now I'm just going in with the black. It's a Coastal Sense matte black. Okay, so now I'm going to take um, Max Plush Glass in Oversex. Okay, now I'm just taking um, this NYX lipstick in Chaos, which I use for blood all the time, and some Fix Plus just to make it a little more watery. Just to brighten it up a bit. And add a little more shine.
Okay, I'm just trying to turn this out. Okay, so, um, I had a dilemma with the liquid latex and the color of it. Um, I put the clown white on it, so then it was like bright, bright white, and then his skin, I didn't want white, 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 because I wanted to gray it out with shadow, but that didn't work. So, this is practice, this is how I learn. Um, I took those, you know, really cheap, uh, grease paints that you get at the, ho the Halloween stores right now, um, and I made it gray, and then I put that... Hold on. In the camera. Okay. So then I put that on top. I think that I would do it um, before I peel it next time. But the mouth came out really good. Um, that looks all ooey gooey and disgusting. And also I would paint the inside of this. But like I said, this is just practice. And practice makes perfect. So yeah. I hope you guys like watching me practice some yucky special effects makeup. Um, that's about it. Have a good night, guys. Have a good week. Please keep rocking.